Hi, this is Rick Brandenburg for Turf Bugs and Rock and Roll. And there's an old song by the birds called Turn, 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 which actually uses uh, words from the book of Ecclesiastes in the Bible, which says, for everything there is a season. So here we are in uh, North Carolina in early June, and normally it's just going to be hot and humid, and today we have a cool day with, with some rain that we, we very much needed. The last two weeks have been really, really dry. The last week of May, the whole week was in the mid-90s, so really uh, much hotter than it should have been. And uh, these sorts of things we talk about a lot, they, they impact insect populations and the timing and when things happen and don't happen. And just like yesterday, we got our first rain of about four tenths of an inch in, in two or more weeks. And the fire ants immediately jumped out of the ground and uh, just became active because they responded to the, the rainfall and the soil moisture. And obviously when you see that kind of activity, it's a great time to try to uh, affect some control strategy. But uh, this year, like every spring and early summer, has been unusual. Uh, for those of you who live in the eastern half of the U.S., uh, you're familiar with Japanese beetles. This is kind of a high-tech uh, Japanese beetle bag trap. Instead of having the bag, it has a plastic container that we use for research. They're a little more durable. And we use them to monitor the, the emergence of the Japanese beetles because we know they're going to mate and they're going to lay eggs, and, and they're one of the species of, of grubs that we can then have. Well, typically in North Carolina, we have the coastal plain region, which has mild winters because of the moderating effect of the ocean. We have the central part of the state, which has really hot, hot, humid summers and uh, relatively mild winters. And then we have the mountains, which have cold winters, but they have milder, milder uh, summers. And typically, obviously, the, in the mountains, things happen last. Well, this year, starting in late May, I start getting lots and lots of reports of very high numbers of Japanese beetles. And to date, in Raleigh, North Carolina, in the central part of the state, I've, I've seen a handful of them. So how or why would things be happening in the mountains more rapidly than they would in any other part of the state? And why are they happening? And those are questions sometimes that are really difficult to answer. Uh, you know, we obviously had a drought here over the last few weeks and incredibly hot. Uh, that usually doesn't do any insects other than Bermuda grass mites and chinch bugs uh, any favors, which they like that kind of weather. So why are we seeing the Japanese beetles uh, occurring weeks earlier than normal? In fact, weeks earlier than what we would see them in the central part of the state? I don't know. It probably has to do with certain time periods that were critical where we had moderate temperatures. It may well have to do with specific rainfall patterns. The reality is it's happening. So turf managers in the mountains have been calling me saying, hey, I'm seeing incredible numbers of Japanese beetles. Does that mean I ought to try to treat earlier? Uh, and the answer is yes. Uh, I almost always say, hey, for week of 4th of July, that's a good average date all across North Carolina. If you treat the 4th of July week, with the products that we currently recommend for white grub control, you're gonna nail them. You're gonna have it out in plenty of time before the grubs get big and you're gonna get good control. But if you start seeing beetles two and three weeks earlier in higher numbers, what Rick Brandenburg says year in, year out, probably isn't gonna apply because the beetles are showing up earlier, which means they're gonna mate earlier, which means they're gonna lay eggs earlier. And with today's products, we don't wanna get behind the curve on insect development. So always be ready, always recognize what's going on, such as the turf managers who called me and said, hey, we're seeing beetles earlier. Does this mean we should move our treatment dates up earlier? Uh, always be aware of it. It doesn't. It's not gonna be the same year after year after year after year. It's gonna vary. Sometimes we can't explain why it happened. So just make sure you're aware. The people in the mountains, the folks there are gonna be treating early this year. It's gonna serve them well that they made that observation. They get their white grub products out a few weeks earlier. They're gonna be there when the eggs hatch. They're gonna get excellent control instead of waiting until the 4th of July week that I normally tell them, and that might have caused some problems. So just every year's different, be aware of that. It's rarely can we operate on a calendar approach. Hope that helps, look forward to talking with you again soon.